Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. Let's take a look how we can create a digital planner so we can sell this into Etsy.com. So guys, in order to get started, what you want to do is to have a free Etsy account and we'll leave you a link down below in the description so you guys can start right away. All right, so the first step now that we have our account in here into Etsy is to create a seller account and to do that, what you want to do is to either choose your account and become a seller that appears in here. In my case, it appears here, the shop manager, because I'm already in here. Or if you don't see this, I can use a new tab. And here, what I want to do is to tab become a seller with Etsy. And in here is going to be appearing the seller tool, become a seller. And here, uh, I'm going to be redirected into the become a seller tool. I just need to fill out all my information. I just need to fill uh, my address and everything will be successfully done. All right. So now that I have here my account into Etsy, I can see my shop manager. See, as you can see here, I do have the stat overview. Here's my dashboard, my listing, my messages. And here I can start to work into Etsy. If you want to get to start to sell into Etsy like right away, you just want to make sure that you have a withdrawal account in order to receive your money and then we can get started. So once I do have a variable shop manager, what I want to do is to go into Etsy vacuum and in here I do want to look for digital planner. I'm going to choose this option because it says digital planner and in here what I want to do is to look for a template i mean i don't want to copy paste i just want to see i want to make a, like an idea of what i can do in order to sell this into etsy so for example let's say that i kind of like this one and i'm going to choose this seller it was actually a best seller so as you can see this one has an undated digital planner here is like a video here are a few things that are included into these uh, file so they, this is a pdf that includes uh, good notes stickers png hyperlinks covers and dividers and monthly planning appears in seeing gratitude mood tracker uh, weekly planning monthly calendar my budget reflection notes so what i want to take in mind is to use this as a template so i can start to create my own so let's say, for example, that I want to create something using the monthly calendar. So what I want to do is to go into Canva. Because Canva is something that is really, really easy to use. It's totally for free and you might be getting a few rewards if you sign up using the link that I'll leave you down below in the description. So with that being said, I want to choose create a design. And since we are creating a PDF file, what I want to do is to use a doc here i do have the auto size so this auto size is going to be adjusting the size of my current image depending on what i'm trying to to do here but uh what i'm going to do here is to choose into my elements and here i want to look for tables like this the second one and here i do have different tables to choose i can go into these three dots Let's say, for example, seven days. So I'm going to go for three, four, five, six, seven. And here we go, three, six. There we go. So everything is good now. So now that I have this one already in here, what I want to do is to expand here my own custom files. But if you don't want to see this as a document, if you want to use this, like if you want to be a little bit more creative, you don't have to worry about that. What I want to do is to go into convert, go into get started, and hit into got it. Uh, I'm going to make this really, really easy. I'm going to hit into the X button. I'm going to do exactly the same, but instead of using a duct or using a whiteboard, I'm just going to be using an A4 document that actually it's in here. And I do have more, um, more tools to use. I have like, I can be more free here. So what I want to do is to either choose a design that was already created or I can choose a template so I can use the template to make this as my own. So here into this side, what I want to look, look for into the templates, I want to look for digital planner. Here it is, digital planner. 
and there are a few things that I do have now available to use this as a digital planner. So for example, if I go back into my template that I've been created here, I want to first create a monthly calendar. So with that being said, once again, I can go back into my template, look for monthly calendar like this. And here is the monthly planner. So I want to choose something that for me can be like really interesting. I think that I'm going to stick around with this one. You see, uh, actually kind of cute here. So what I want to do is to edit my own template. So if I want to create, let's say, for example, January of the 2023, I'm going to edit here January. And here's the year 2023. And here we do have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's take a look at when this January 1 starts. So I'm going to go into 2023 calendar, open a new tab. And here I do have one image as a reference. So I can see here that January actually starts at the very first day of Sunday. So I'm going to go back here into Canva and I'm going to make those adjustments in here. So what I'm going to do here is to move everything here and try to just move um, my calendar. What I want to do is to go, for example, here into Sunday. I'm going to move this a little bit up. I'm going to select these dates and I'm going to move this like this. There we go. And here I'm going to fit Sunday. And now that I have everything successfully done here, I just want to move my dates in the respected area like this. Here it is. So lastly, what I just need to do is to fill uh, everything here into my dates so I can just see this um, a little bit more planified like this. Um, and then what I can do if I want to like save a little bit of time, let's see if in my design, I did you have February. But once I, I finish here, I just want to use, use my templates. So this is what we want to do here is to use uh, templates from Canva and start our own. So here, for example, here I have budget, uh, weekly planning, go into Canva, go into your design here. And in here I want to look for weekly planner and I want to choose like this option hit into add as a new page and here you want to make this yours so add more and add more and add more so once you finish that you can go into the grid view and here's gonna be appearing how it's gonna be looking your PDF file after you finish with your PDF file I need to go into share hit into download and here into file type, I want to choose my PDF standard and hit into download. I always choose all the pages. I can hit into download. And once my PDF is been downloaded, I can go back into my Chef Manager from Etsy, hit into listing. And here into listing, I can just create my very first uh, item to sell here into Etsy. So I'm gonna hit into add listing and here I want to add a few templates that I have created here. So as you can see, we do have the option to add a few photos, but I would be strongly suggest you to don't add PDFs. Instead, you want to choose your designs like this one. You can export the four of them. And as simple as that, guys. So as you can see, it wasn't that hard. Everything has been now successfully added. So lastly, what I just need to do is to add a description, all my information, and to create a great perspective of how people are going to be watching at my file. Like this, for example, my own style listing, hit into save. So you want to be creative here into Canva and try to do like a great presentation that appears in here. And it's going to be generating you a really, really great uh, dots point, speaking about the design and how people are going to be looking at you in Etsy as a seller. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if this was a very useful video for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Have lots of fun.